we want to leave you with some thought-provoking ideas on how you can engage your students. Remember the theme for our conference is re-engage. How can you engage your students uh, in, in really embracing the entrepreneurship mindset, entrepreneurship process, and behaving like entrepreneurs, okay? And so last year we were online, and um, uh, my good friend, Dr. David Newton, and I were collaborating. I wanted something new, different, and special. And well, we created something last year, and um, it, I think it went over pretty good. But then Dave comes to me with the conference this year, and he says, I want a chance to improve upon that. And I said, okay, you're on. And you're here right now, and uh, I want you to meet a very, very close friend of mine. We share some, uh, uh, some, some common appreciations of uh, uh, musical genre, and I think you'll experience that throughout the day tomorrow as well. But um, I want to introduce to you uh, my good friend, uh, a superb entrepreneurship educator, Dr. David Newton. Okay, well, uh, Alex asked me a couple years ago, uh, hey, can you do something that somehow integrates music with uh, entrepreneurship pedagogy and stuff? And I said, uh, okay, we'll see what we can come up with. So, Hope you're enjoying the 2023 California Educators Conference. As he said, I'm Dave Newton. Uh, since 2013, I do custom strategy and finance programs for senior managers and corporate boards through the Center for Executive Development at UC San Diego over in La Jolla. And uh, I also do entrepreneurship consulting uh, with Mike Morris and with uh, Jeff Stamp. I'll be writing and speaking through my E3 Center. And uh, I met Alex at the third USASPE meeting in 1986. I was teaching at Pepperdine at that time. You know, the integration of the arts into teaching pedagogy is not new. It covers everything from teaching entrepreneurship and business development to musicians, sculptors, painters, graphic artists with creativity and freeform ideation into the new venture development process. I've always been a musician, played piano, guitar, drums, bass, been in lots of rock and roll bands my whole life, starting in junior high and high school, college, very active in the Boston music scene between 1981 and 84, while I was in business school. And uh, today we have some fun as I blend music entertainment with a specific narrative and perform portions of some pretty well-known classic rock songs to communicate eight core themes about teaching entrepreneurship and new venture development. Wait, classic rock lyrics and entrepreneurship? Hey, the more I looked, the more I found my set pulls from portions of 40 different classic rock tracks, verses and choruses, to cover eight core topics that you typically teach. The profile of the entrepreneur, spotting opportunity, innovation, financial resources, value proposition, organizing and coordinating resources, partnerships, risk tolerance, and of course, perseverance. You'll no doubt recognize these timeless hits. So sit back and relax as I merge some entree of pedagogy with musical entertainment at the end, during our Q&A, let's discuss maybe some creative ways that you can use this recorded session in your own teaching pedagogy. I think the video will be available for your use in your classes and any teaching apps. So, as many musicians and startup entrepreneurs like to say, let's rock. You know, entrepreneurship starts with a mindset of freedom to think differently and outside traditional parameters of generally accepted perspectives. Even when others criticize and point out barriers that initially seem difficult to overcome, the entrepreneur would never, ever dream that it's over. There is freedom within. There is freedom without. Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup. There's a battle ahead. Many battles are lost. But you never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, where the world comes in, they come, they come to build a wall between us. You know they won't win. And of course, entrepreneurs always like to innovate 
and raise the level, they have this unsettledness to believe there's always another way to do things. Chasing after perfection, what they always pursue, but sometimes may never find. I have climbed some high mountains, and I have come through these fields only to see it through. Trying to see it through. I have run, I have crawled, I have scaled these entry walls, these industry walls, and I'm going to see it through. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. You know, many entrepreneurs have very humble beginnings, wanting to break out and expand their horizons, to venture out beyond short-sightedness and pessimism that life can't get any better. Uh, they are the quintessential born romantics who dream about getting out and making something of themselves. I was born in a small town and all my friends are so small town. My job is in small town where there's little opportunity. Educated in a small town Well, I've seen it all in a small town I used to daydream in that small town Another born romantic, that's me Well, I will never forget from where it is that I come from And not forget the people who pushed me yeah, I can be myself when I break out from this town and be the entrepreneur I was born to be. And of course, there's that deep, adventurous spirit, literally a hunger deep inside that the next step to set out on this uncharted course. Everybody's got a hungry heart. Everybody's got a hungry heart. Lay down your money Everybody's got a hungry heart. And of course, entrepreneurs are completely committed to their vision. They literally can see the final results even from the earliest stages of pre-launch. And they will do everything they can to make that vision happen. And I can't fight this feeling anymore. Well, there's no forgetting what I'm fighting for. It's time to move my ship away from shore and head out on my course forever. And I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've committed now to what I'm fighting for. And if I had to crawl across the floor, come crashing through the door, well, then I can't fight this feeling anymore. And of course, entrepreneurs view things very differently. They have a penchant for departing conventional wisdom. While others head down the consensus pathway, entrepreneurs have no fear to follow their own way and set their own course. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it under. You can go your own way, go your own way. And of course, entrepreneurs like to be moving forward, gaining ground, establishing sustainable traction. Turning your venture into reality is not work, it's not a job, it's literally fun. It's what they love to do, an adrenaline rush. So don't try to limit their enthusiasm or expectations and be very grateful about trying to put the brakes on about what they'd like to be able to do. I'm a shooting star waiting through the sky with my venture to find the laws of the economy and the world. I'll turn it inside out, yeah. I'm floating around in ecstasy, so don't stop me 
now. Don't stop me cause I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to know the best time to give me a call and don't stop me now. Don't stop me cause I'm having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. And of course, entrepreneurs don't accept failure. They press ahead in spite of difficult circumstances. You know, rejection, barriers to entry, tough odds for success. I had my business plan set back. The investors didn't like it, so I guess they'll pass. I don't understand why they won't invest. With my firm position for such great success, you can call it a lack of confidence. But to bail out now just doesn't make much sense. I can't, I can't, I can't stand losing. I can't, I can't, I can't stand losing. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stand losing. I can't stand losing you. And when we think about spotting opportunity, you know, entrepreneurs embrace change and foster innovation with tremendous creativity, always pondering the upside opportunity, improving features, design, efficiencies, lower costs, lower prices. They're disrupting markets by always introducing change. Still don't know what I was waiting for. And my time was running wild on a million dead end streets. And every time that I thought I got it made, it seems the taste was not so sweet. So I turned myself to face it. But I've never even caught a glimpse of how the others might see my innovation. I'm much too fast to take that test. Ch -ch 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 changes, turn, face the change. Ch -ch -ch changes, you know I'd like to be a richer man. Ch -ch 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 changes, turn, face the change. Ch -ch changes, I'm gonna introduce a different way. You know that time will change me. So I must make time. And of course, entrepreneurs always look right past to the things that don't block their view. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Gone are the skeptics who have challenged me. It's gonna be a bright, bright, bright starting of day. I know I can make it now, my plan's in place. All of the barriers to entry have disappeared. This is my vision and I will innovate. It's going to be a bright, bright, bright starting of day. And of course, entrepreneurship is about always wanting to see more. And I could see from the start there was no way to know it. All the firms in my way who can say where they're going as free as the time maybe we're growing while the industry moves into its showing more than this you know there's always more than this. And you know, when you start thinking about financial resources, there are several clear stages that the entrepreneurs go through when they secure funds for their ventures. At each juncture on the growth trajectory, the capital investment and liquidity needs have to be balanced against the firm's valuation. 
of uh, not valuing or giving away too much in the term sheet. You know, at the first stage, there's that difficulty of always bootstrapping. Even if sales receipts don't match payables, cash is scarce, and sometimes it feels like running on, running on empty, running on. But of course, at the second stage, some funds do come in. Things look good for a moment, but there's always more capital to raise. Maybe difficult days in between funding rounds when it feels a little bit like, oh, on the halfway there, oh, living on a prayer, take my hand, we'll make it, I swear, oh, living on a prayer. Of course, there's always the friends and family round for funding. What would you think if I pitched you my deal? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me some funds and I'll tell you my dream. And I know that you will finally see. Yeah, I get by with a little help from my friends. Yeah, I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. Oh, I know it's fine with a little help from my friends. What do I do when my revenue lags? Does it worry me to fall behind? How do I feel at the end of the day if my margins are too hard to find? Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Hey, I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. Yeah, I know it's fine with a little help from my friends. Do I need anybody? I'm just an entrepreneur. Yes, I need everybody to be an entrepreneur. Hey, I get by with a little help from my friends. Yeah, I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. Yeah, I know it's fine with a little help. For my friends, a little help for my friends. Yeah. Now maybe the firm raises some debt or equity capital with an angel round. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? I've traveled the world and it's never easy. Everybody's looking for funding. Some of them want to use you, and some of them will try to get used by you. Some of them are going to abuse your firm, and some of them want to be abused. Oh. presented like three or four times or five times at the same venture forum and you've always heard hit the road Jack don't you come back no more no more no more hit the road Jack don't you come back no more of course the real home run is trying to raise a VC round entrepreneurs might have to compromise on key points to lock in on that final term sheet a firm needs some capital right away come on in Talk it over. So many things that I don't want to say. I know you like my team a little bit older. I just want to use your funds tonight. Well, I don't want to lose your funds tonight. And of course, there's crafting that compelling value proposition. You know, entrepreneurs are fully convinced that their ideation, their angle and pitch on product service offering is right, it's correct, and they can feel it. Well, if you told me what you'd offer, I would not try to stand. Because the product I know, but the price doesn't show the difference from you to me. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. And I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Hold on. 
hold on and we'll take it to the limit we'll take it to the limit we'll take it to the limit one more time entrepreneurs are always convinced they're going to stand their ground and they simply won't take no well i stand my ground i won't be turn around and I'll keep my team from dragging me down and I'll stand my ground yeah I know what's right this is in my sight in a world that keeps on pushing me around well I'll stand my ground and I won't back down I won't back down hey yeah. I won't back down there ain't no easy way out I won't back down hey I know well I'll stand my ground and I won't back down and of course entrepreneurs have to do some of paying their dues because they're convinced they're right of course now if you're feeling kind of low about the dues you've been paying, the future's coming much too slow. And you want to run ahead, but you just keep on paying. You can't decide which way to go. Oh yeah, well, I understand about indecision, but I don't care if I get behind. My venture is dealing with competition. But all I want is to have my peace of mind. And entrepreneurs will always say, you know, kind of simple minds to keep product service ideas fresh, kind of alive and kicking, always in front of the targeted end users in the marketplace. So don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you forget about me. And then all of a sudden, it's time to launch the venture. They'll have to transition from being an entrepreneur out pitching to relative boredom of running a regular standard daily operation. I get up every morning to the alarm clocks, want to take the 8.15 into the city. There's this whistle up above the people pushing, people shoving, and the girls who try to look pretty. And if you train's on time, you can get to work by nine and start that slaving job to get your pay. And if you ever get annoyed, look at me, I'm self-employed. I love to work at nothing all day. And I've been taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way I've been taking care of business. It's all mine. Taking care of business and working all the time. And of course, running a daily business can sometimes feel like I have to catch the early train. I gotta be over by nine. And if I had an airplane, I still couldn't make it on time. It's just another man in Monday. I wish it was Sunday, oh, but that's my work day. Oh, I don't have to run day. It's just another man in Monday. And of course, entrepreneurs wear many hats, work a lot of hours to get all kinds of things done. It's been a hard day's night. And I've been working like a dog. It's been a hard day's night. I should be sleeping like a log. But when I get to the end, I'll have to do it again. You know it feels all right. You know I work all day to bring in money we really need. And it's worth it just to hear you say, we might make it actually but when the day's at the end i'll have to do it again you know it feels all right you know it feels all right you know
know it feels alright. Fill my eyes with that double vision. There's no disguising all that double vision. And I'm just so tired of that double vision. We don't need no hesitation. What we need are cost control. No dark sarcasm in the boardroom. We can't let this thing get old. Hey, partners, don't let this thing get old. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. But of course, everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody wants a second chance. And all my clients are going off the deep end. Everybody looking for that chance. You got a piece of my heart. You gotta let it start. You wanna see if it grows. Come on and let it go. And then you talk about partnerships. It's all about making deals, sales, parts, distribution, pricing, royalties, always negotiating terms, but there's a lot of give and take. Because you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. And of course, landing such a likely deal is so, of course, going to involve some compromises to get the right fit. I don't mind you coming here. And wasting all my time Cause when you're standing oh so near I know that it'll find me, yeah It's not the way I'd like to share And it's not the time to just compare I don't mind you coming here And wasting all my time I guess it's just what I needed I needed someone to breathe. I guess it's just what I needed. I needed someone to see. And of course, it might feel sometimes like you don't have a home base and you're just kind of always wandering. Well, you don't have to live like a refugee. You don't have to live like a refugee. Somewhere, somehow, somebody must have kicked you around so Tell me why you just want to lay there and revel in your abandon. Well now, it don't make no difference to me. Make the entrepreneurs have to fight to be free. And you don't have to live like a refugee. Don't like a refugee. Of course, no matter how difficult the launch in the new venture, securing long-term partnerships, even if the deal fails, the heart of a true entrepreneur is to always want the venture again. Do another deal. Pursue another great market opportunity. It feels like the first time. It feels like the very first time. But it feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. And of course, you come into things like risk tolerance. It can feel like there's always needing fixing, tweaking, updating. I can get no satisfaction. I can get no 
Satisfaction will try and I try and I try and I try. I can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction. Of course, entrepreneurs like to take a lot of risk and stride. They kind of have this attitude of, what, me, worry? I'll just go with it. <laughs> well, it's been building up inside of me for, oh, I don't know how long. I don't know why, but I keep thinking something's bound to go wrong. Then they look in my eyes and make me realize when they say, Don't worry, Dave, don't worry, Dave, don't worry, Dave, everything will turn out all right. And of course, wearing many hats and having lots of deadlines, the feel it can just be like you're now you're back on the chain. Do, 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 do. You're back on the chain game. Circumstance beyond our control. Oh, the phone, the TV, and the news in the world. They got in the house just like a pigeon from hell. Oh, to send in our eyes and descend in like flies. Now we're back on the chain. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're back on the chain. Gang. And of course, entrepreneurs must have the right perspective, keeping a loose hand on great ideas because revenue, funding, partnerships, it can all change really fast. It could be gone as quickly as the early successes came. I close my eyes only for a moment and the moment's gone. All of my dreams the past before my eyes and curiosity Dust in the wind, all they are is dust in the wind. Now don't hang on, cause nothing lasts forever but the earth and sky. It slips away, and all your money won't another minute by. Dust in the wind. Everything is dust in the. Everything is dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. Everything is dust in the wind. And of course, when a new venture launch encounters an unforeseen barrier or a major downturn in demand or sales, it may appear too difficult, too formidable. So the entrepreneur might have the tolerance for risk, even when it seems it's the end of the world as I know it. It's the end of the world as I know it. It's the end of the world as I know it. And I still feel fine. So we'll close with this, perseverance. Entrepreneurs always stay the course and hang in there. Through the storm we reach the shore. I give it all, but they want more. And I wait without you. With or without you. With or without Slide of hand and twist.
twist of fate on a bed of nails the investors wait and I'm waiting for you with or without you with or without you but of course don't stop thinking about tomorrow don't stop Cause it'll soon be here It'll be here Better than before Cause yesterday's gone Yesterday's gone Ah, yesterday. Maybe things were going great as recently as yesterday. But things can change today and suddenly they're back to that. Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why they had to go, I don't know. They wouldn't say. I said something's wrong. Now I long for yesterday. This was such an easy game to play, but I will persevere and make you pay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Ooh, 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 ooh. Because we made this promise and swore we'd always remember. No retreat, baby, no surrender. Just like soldiers in the winter's night with a vow to defend. No retreat, baby, no surrender. Okay, last two. Entrepreneurs always stay focused. They never stop believing in the dream. Working hard to get my fill. Everybody wants the thrill. Paying anything to roll the dice. Just one more time. Some will win, some will lose. And some are born to sing the blues. Oh, this venture never ends, it goes on. So don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Now that you're an entrepreneur. And my final encouragement is this for all your high schoolers, your undergrads, your MBAs, your grad students, and your clients simply enjoy the ride. Another turning point and a fork stuck in the road. Tide grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but if the end is right, I hope you have the time of your life. So take that business plan you've worked on in your mind. Using PowerPoint, presenting all the time. You'll get some affirmation and some denial. For what it's worth, it was worth. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life. Well, it's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life.
uh, songs uh, in your playlist were already things you were had repertoire with, or did you have to? make them up to get the lyrics right? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of songs in there. Uh, I never play Fleetwood Mac. I never play, I never play Johnny Nash. Um, no, yeah, it was, uh, it was just going through stuff in our bands. You know, we do a lot of classic rock cover songs and stuff like that, but uh, it was fun. And, um, you know, you start Googling and thinking about topics, and you start just going through a lot of songs, and all of a sudden it just comes to your mind. Start thinking about all kinds of ways that lyrics and stuff have a lot to say about risk and all those other topics. Pretty fun, yeah. When's the rap version? <laughs> well, I can answer that very easily, never. <laughs> I was born in the 50s. I've got uh, eight grandchildren, number nine coming in uh, December. My kids are all in their 30s. I have a son and three daughters. They're all married and have families, so um, uh, rap. That'll take a different artist. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So uh, I, I, respect, I respect the, uh, the uh, the style and everything like that, but uh, I was raised in Jersey, uh, just a few years behind uh, my friend over here, so um, yeah, there's no rap in anything I do, so. Yes? Thank you very much. So I have two for sure. First one is, uh, if we would like to show this to all students, the video, it is good at the beginning of the semester or at the end of the semester, that's one. <laughs> Maybe when you're getting ready to have a party or something like that, or you know, or have a nice discussion. Maybe when they're working on their business plans. Uh, you know, one thing that's funny is people have asked, you know, well, will will 18 to 20 year olds and 22 to 26 year old MBAs know anything? You'd be surprised. They are so into classic rock. Um, I mean, my daughter's 34. My middle daughter, she's got a turntable and about 100 albums. She listens to everything from Hank Williams all the way through Nat King Cole, uh, Pink Floyd. Uh, Boston, uh, Richard Hell and the Voidoids, uh, you know, you name it, the Romantics, all the way up through. So you'd be surprised how, how uh, young people actually really do connect with classic rock. So, you. what was your second question? Second one, we're thinking about how can I use this uh, <laughs> as a, a starting point for class activity? Yeah, well, maybe just play portions of it. You know, I've got the lyrics and everything broken down into eight sections. And I'm happy to send you the lyric sheet as well, which has everything on there. So just, uh, if you want to copy the lyric sheet, um, my email is newtonstrategy at live.com. So newtonstrategy at live.com. If you send me an email, I'll send you the lyric sheet and it has everything broken out in the eight sections. Sure, happy to do that. Who is your musical inspiration other than Bruce? Other than Bruce, right? <laughs> well, you know, um, growing up, I used to watch Bandstand on Saturdays. And uh, all I wanted to do was be a rock musician my whole life. And uh, I used to be a little upset because I started when I was around 9 or 10 to notice that there are no chords in their guitars. And this song sounds a lot like the one on the radio without any variation. And then my older sister, six years older, slapped me across the back of the head when I asked the question. She says, they're lip syncing. And I, I was very disappointed to hear that, you know. So um, uh, I guess my inspiration would come from... Um, yeah, just any, any of the bands. I mean, in Jersey, you know, we, we just went for three guitars, a bass, and a drums, and we played pool parties. We played all kinds of, you know, school events, church events. Um, you know, so it was just a matter of being loud, and if parents really were annoyed by how loud we were and stuff like that, it was all better. You know, couldn't get any better than that. And, of course, my parents were just mortified that I was in uh, all these different bands during junior high and high school, and my college years in New York, uh, in a band for all those years. And then when I was doing my MBA in Boston, I uh, was in the Boston music scene. If you have a Boston background, you might remember Kenmore Square and the Rathskeller uh, in downtown there, and Storyville um, had a great club as well. So uh, our band played there as well. Uh, yeah, just uh, the cars were really influential. Um, they're in the Boston scene, so it was really fun. Anything else? How's the kind of jacket? Uh, I've had this jacket. Um, it's a little small on me these days because uh, when, I, when I bought it, I was the same height, 6'4", but I think I weighed about 174 pounds back then. And uh, I'm up around 194 right now, so uh, I've had it forever. Um, it was one of those things where I um, uh, went to a, a thrift store in New Jersey in probably 19, I don't know, maybe 75 or something like that, and picked it up. It's probably close to 50 years old. And, um, and it's hot as anything when you're indoors, you know, so. Uh, but uh, the whole idea is to look cool, you know, so uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. Great set. Was there a topic, not sure, that you couldn't find fun about? 
Oh boy. Well, I went with the basic eight that I normally would cover in all the 28 years I taught full time. And, and um, yeah, there's always a song, to, something about, you know, breaking through. I, I did like Bowie with the uh, changes, you know, and so forth. So, uh, and I had a fun mixing up the lyrics a little bit, throwing in a couple of one-liners I knew that a crowd like this would get. So uh, <laughs> thanks very much. Tomorrow night, uh, Mike Morris and uh, my colleague Bob Gross from Santa Barbara will be doing a, a set of classic rock for the uh, closing reception up on the rooftop on tomorrow evening. So that'll be fun. David, that was just awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, wow. If you don't leave with ideas after something like that, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for day one, and let's pull off day two tomorrow before we celebrate. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great night.